Hey there, Scratch friends. Let's make another awesome new program. I'll sign into Scratch and let's start by finding my stuff and bring in the project we made called Happy Halloween. Click See Inside and let me show you how this awesome creation lets us make other creations. There's a cool tool called the Backpack and you can grab your controls for the arrow keys. You can grab your when clicked that sends out the start and I'm also going to copy the when colors touching so that I can use that again. Once I've got those copied, I'm going to click File, New. And then I'm going to name this one Tag, and I'm going to hit File, Save. I like to use original characters, so I'm going to hit the scissors and cut out the cat. And then I'm going to quickly grab a sprite. I'm going to pick one that I think will be fun for today. I'm going to pick from Animals, and I like the groovy little butterfly, and I'm going to tell him OK. And then what's magical is I can simply bring up the script and I can bring up the start script and just like that my butterfly shrinks down to that small size I like and I can control them with the arrow keys. Well like I said we're going to make a game called Tag. So let's grab another sprite. I'm going to go back to Animals and I'm going to play the butterfly versus the ladybug. When you click OK, bring it in. And then this is where it also gets cool. I'm going to bring up that same script, but I'm going to adjust it. Uh, so that way we're making a two-player game. So the first one starts at negative 120, negative 120. So let's put the little bug at positive 120, positive 120. So the ladybug is in a different location. You have to hit stop and start to see the adjustment. But you can see that's a nifty place to play tag. And then we have to change the arrow keys. We're going to use ASWD, where A is to the left. So see how this is a positive right? Uh, the one that goes left would be this one, so we make it the letter A. So make sure your negative X is A. Make sure your positive X is now connected to the letter D. Make sure that your up arrow is connected to the W. My screen, I have to be patient down at the bottom to get the W to show up because I scrunch it a little bit. And then for the down arrow, make sure you have it connected to the S. That's why they call these the ASWD controls. When you hit stop and start, you can now use the letters to control the ladybug. And you can use the arrow keys to control the butterfly. So you've essentially created a two-player game in a couple minutes. Let's click back on the butterfly and let's make it it. Grab your script that we had for the winner, which was the uh, if touching. But let's put a different kind of sensing in it. Drag this sensing out and right click delete it. And under sensing, grab the if touching. And we can tell it that we want to know if it's touching the ladybug. So if the butterfly touches the ladybug, then we have a winner. Let's delete this, and let's find a cool sound. Let's go to the Sounds tab, click the Sounds, and under All, alphabetically, you can find the Cheer nice and easy. If you want to find a different one, you may as well. And then if we go back to Scripts, let's put the Cheer in there by choosing the Sound Choice, Play Sound, Cheer. Let's hit save now just because it's a good practice. Let's click the backgrounds and find a background that you think is fun. I'm going to choose nature. And I'm going to pick the blue sky. You can pick anything you want. And then you can test your game out. If you want to add other cool things, you can try. If you want to be done, this is a fine place to be done. And have your game just working as well. Make sure you check it quickly with your partner. And thanks for following along as you build a super cool, super easy using the backpack